Alrighty then, Red Mountain. Gamma's uh, penultimate stage. Destroy E104, I think this is Epsilon. I'm fairly sure it's Epsilon, because the other one is... No, it might not be Epsilon. It might be Zeta. I think it's Zeta. Yeah, Zeta. Maybe Zeta. Maybe it's Epsilon. Maybe it's Gamma. No, it's not Gamma. It's Epsilon. Maybe Zeta. Might be Zeta, though. It could also be Epsilon. It could be either one. I actually have no idea. And, like all the stages, you just hold down the B button to win the video game. Hold and release, hold and release. You get plenty of time. Well, no, not as much you have as you've gotten before, so... You don't... See, you get a... <laughs> that seems really done. You get a one... There's one ring box. I understand that it's... I think it's a random box, but... It seems silly that there's <laughs> just one ring in there. Hammer, which is very easy to avoid. <laughs> Kapowie. Now then, I just need to address after this stage there is um, a cutscene, and I'm just going to cut to the egg carrier because I want to save time. So, well, not, obviously not now, but after the cutscene, I'll get to the egg carrier, so you don't need to see me walking all the way there. You know how to get it, you just take the boat in the Mystic Ruins. I like how I'm not talking about the stage at all. I mean, we've seen it before, it's just the screechy rock music place we visited with Sonic. So E104, yeah, it's Epsilon. Yeah. Just s see the Delta fight and you'll know how this goes. Alright then, see you at the Egg Carrier. E104 Epsilon. Rescue complete. E-103 Delta. E-104 Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. E-Series Data. Beginning search. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E-Series location confirmed. Unlocking Hot Shelter Sector now. So if you hadn't already guessed, the Hot Shelter is the next and final stage. And it's, like Amy, it's Gamma's longest stage. It's also his most challenging, which is fitting for a final level. But... Well, it's just kind of... No. It's, it's a good level, I guess. It's challenging because the time... <laughs> Did you see that glitch? Oh god, it was really bad. Well, how could you miss it? I mean, it was so obvious. Ah, oh, ah. But yeah, the Hot Shadow is the uh, stage where the time limit actually kind of comes into play. But before we go there, I have one item to pick up. Gamma's second and final upgrade. Very optional and kind of useless. You can only get hit after the Egg Carrier has fallen to the ground. Uh, see? It's the Laser Blaster. Spoilers. Here's your Laser Blaster. It's blast damages and yeah, it kind of just launches an explosion time. when you... It's useful for racking up combos, I guess. It also helps you cover a wide area. Area. You can get it before Windy Valley, but I don't feel the need to. I kind of wasted the time when I was in the Amy story and I went back to get the long hammer. That's not... That, that is the wrong door. Hot Shelter, the final stage. Alright then, destroy E105, Zeta, and it looks as if you got an upgrade. And I like how they waste your time with this stupid lift scene. So yeah, it's kind of this, uh, you get a neat little seizure-inducing laser blast effect. Item, 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 item. Could we have gotten more items there, seriously. But still, yeah. 
with the laser blast you get a crazy seizure inducing in effect and it's awesome though. Gamma is also the slowest ladder climber in the game. He might be slower than Amy, I don't know. I think he's slowest. You can just hover over that, no need to bother, but I do anyway because I'm awesome. So in this stage your time limit kind of comes into play. Also you don't need to jump on the switch, you can just shoot it, which is awesome. Yeah, the time limit is... I've died multiple times in the stage, not not in this run, but before. Because of the time limit in this stage, because you don't realise how... The time limits have been really lenient before, and they're not anymore. They changed it up. See another one ring box, jeez, I haven't I haven't seen those in any other story but Gammas. That was just a target range, just to get you some more time. And see, for once, we don't have more time than we started with. And not to need the place there, you better hover, otherwise you'll fall down and you'll have to do that part again. Or you might die, I don't actually know. In this part, you have to stand on the green square. To be lifted up, and Gammas... Never mind. Oh, they fell down, darn it. Stand on it. There we go. You have to be standing pretty close to the center. You can't be like just n near it because it's fairly specific with where it goes. Uh, fairly specific. See, look, it, 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 it. see, I'm there, but it doesn't work. So I just shoot it again. No big deal. Chonk. Whoosh. And then you get dropped on this train thing. And you can't move. Nyong. Okay. A bomb there, which is very, very, very rarely used items. I must say. Uh, yeah, this is where I kind of screw up. I don't know why. I don't know what goes. I don't know what happens. But when Gamma goes up water, he kind of hovers because he's a robot, I guess. And see, like, I guess this area counts as water because he hovers above it. And it's kind of neat in that respect. See, look how low my time is. I'm freaking out at this point. And then you can kind of hover along and jump. It's kind of like, I don't understand this, but you can hover and jump. I, I know this isn't the proper way of doing it. It must, I don't think it is actually, it might, it might be, but I highly doubt it. But anyway, after that insane, weird hover glitch thing happened, we now have to destroy the front of the train. And this, and the train level, I think it's like the station, the rail station level in um, Sonic Heroes reminds me of this greatly. Because you have to destroy the front of the train then. And anyway, here you have an opportunity to grab some items and whatnot. Oh, that was, a great, that was great. Both me hitting the mic and my awesome ability to do stuff. We're very nearly, in, we're very nearly, we're very near the end of the stage here. And also the end of the video. Whoop whoop. And here we have to fight. The most challenging of the bosses. E105. Zeta. So here's where you kind of just need to. You can move around a bit. He fires missiles at you. Don't know why. Also, if you look carefully, where the the grey parts are Dreamcasts. Looks like Eggman liked the Dreamcast. Who didn't know? It was a pretty neat console. But he's kind of, he's, yeah, he's pretty easy. He explodes as well. Boom! Releasing a bird. Or a peacock. Alright then, folks. Join me in the next episode for the final boss. Yay, Sonic Drift Racing, a great game. I'll see you then.